Welcome back. You are watching KTN News Desk. The Kenyan taxpayers are glaring at a ballooning wage bill owing to the proposal to raise members of parliament's pension by 707% per month. This will cost 1.7 billion between July the 1st, 2018 and June 2019 from the current 262 million shillings paid out in the current financial year. The figure is expected to hit 2.7 billion by July 2020. This pension budget spending is highlighted in the national budget estimates for 2018-2019 financial year released by the Treasury. It also revealed billions in unfunded pension liabilities owed to the country's public servants. According to the report, taxpayers will pay more than 15 billion Kenya shillings in additional pensions during the next financial year as the burden of supporting the country's retired public servants continues to rise. What is your response to this? You can send us your tweets at Kate and news. It will be very interesting to hear what you, the taxpayer, has to say about this um, estimates uh, from the National Treasury for the financial year 2018-2019. But let's quickly take a look at the graphical representation of what really this means for you as a taxpayer and um, how much we will be paying to our tax uh, to our public servants, those who are currently in office and those who are retired. So for the financial year 2017-2018, 71.8 billion um, uh, was uh, paid out for as, as pension for one-term members of parliament. The projection is uh, 86 billion shillings. But come 2018-2019 financial year, owing to the estimates from the National Treasury, we are facing a 15 billion additional pay which will definitely be a burden on the tax pairs. So the 2017 to 2018 financial year we're also looking at the pay for members of parliament which is 210 62 million shillings. Of course, this came after a review by the Salaries and Remuneration Commission. But come 2018-2019 financial year that is currently being worked on by the Treasury, we'll be paying 1.7 billion shillings to members of parliament as their salaries up from 262 million shillings. And by July 2020, this number would have gone up to 2.7 billion Kenya shillings. Big burden for the taxpayer and given the ballooning wage bill that currently Kenyans are staring at. So let's take a look at the perks as uh, the pension uh, for members of parliament, the one-term members of parliament, as, as well as those who have managed to garner two terms um, as public servants. So the rise, according to these estimates, will be 707% in rise uh, in terms of increment from what they have been earning previously starting from the 2017-2018 financial year to when we get to the 2018-2019 financial year. 1.8 billion shillings is what is being proposed for the next financial year, which is 2018-2019, by the National Treasury. 247 million is what the members of parliament were earning, and uh, the payoff will be 18 million Kenya shillings. This is a graphical representation of what we are staring at as a taxpayers, and of course a ballooning wage bill that continues to get bigger by the day. So the military pensions, there will be a 15% rise per month, um, uh, one once uh, this has been cleared off, it will be 6.3 billion shillings, um, or it was 6.3 billion shillings in the financial year 2017-2018. But the projection as the increment uh, starts will uh, places it at 7.3 billion Kenya shillings. So it will be very interesting to hear what you have to say about these estimates uh, from the National Treasury. And of course, when this particular bill passes, do tweet us at KTN News, and you can as well tweet me at KTN News. I will be sampling a number of your views as we continue the program here on KTN News. Our reporters spoke to a number of, a number of Kenyans from various parts of the country on the same. Let's take a look at what they have to say. First of all, I oppose it because uh, I think that's uh, an exploitation of uh, uh, the resources that uh, the country has. And in fact, when uh, we look at the wage bill, it's uh, something that uh, cannot be condoned. Actually, salaries that are being paid after the constitution of 2010 are very high because uh, we have two uh, governments now, the county government and the national government. Now, when this uh, thing come of uh, paying this uh, retirement benefit to the MPs, actually when they lose, that is, not, uh, that is not retiring, but they have been sacked by the people who have put them into power. 
So I think uh, what I will tell is Mr. President not to sign in that bill. Uh, then go and revisit it because that is exaggeration and trying to, to exploit the common monarchy. Nimesikia vibaya sana kusikia MP wanapewa hiyo pesa yote wakati tunaaswa hata sakura yenyewe watu hatuna. How do you expect the people young generation to grow? Ebile tutapea mtu mmoja tu au mtu mmoja ndiye anadinda Kenya. Or 220. This is exaggeration because how can you raise what has been there so that you can benefit by your own? I think what you should be there, stick to what you've been getting so that the share can go to another person. There are so many people that are jobless. There are so many youths who need these funds to expand themselves. I think it should be given to these young people. And the, the retirement benefit, I think if you are an NP and people thought that you are not enough, you, are, you did not just do anything good, so they voted you out, Sindio. So the moment you start now getting your way through so that you can get more cash from the people, I think you will be exploiting people, and it's not good. Yo, ananjiongi, say yo ni pesa mingi sana kwa sababu, ni kama wanatamaliza sasa. Hata pesa, tuseme kama hitu naona vile barabara hiko, mambo mengi, Lakini saisi sasa wakinjiongeze yu msara, nini mingi, mirandi mingi itakuwa imekuwa mana sisi tunomia. Sasa mimi kama nauza kuku, sipati pesa mingi, na unawana vile sasa wananjiongezea pesa mingi yu, yu pesa yote inaenda wapi. Yu ikuwa naulise yu kwa sababu wakinjiongeze yu msara yote, usumi wa Kenya unasoroteka tu. Mavijana hapa, wala wegi ya wana kazi. Na si tuna shumbuka sana hata na kasi sambi jengo hata stadium hile ina jengo hapa tupewi kazi. Kwa hivyo mi ningeonerea hiyo pesa wanaharibu ni kama ministri zile zingine sinafaa zifanyiwe kazi, hazifanyiwe kazi kama mashule. Ni kama turi wachagua, banda, kwa hile kazi ambao turi wachagua wawo waenda kufanya na washugulikia mwananchi wakawinda. Wawo sasa hakuna mwananchi wakawinda enye nini wanamushugulikia ni wawo wenyewe. So, sisi wananchi wa kawinda tutasindi kukanda mizwa. Wanajongesa pesa kwa sababu ya kufanya nini? Iyo pension sasa, wanajongesa pesa kwa sababu ni nini wamefanya zaidi? Angalia hizi hata itao ni vile naka. Barabara hata ipanuliwi meisha kando kando. Hizi pavement zenye zilikuwa kwa hata zenye wakati ilitengenezo wakuna pavement imesha wekwa. MP, tukona MP hapa lakini apiti hapa angalie. Nona, nyumba watu wanangiliwa na wanangiliwa na maji za mwa nyumba huku. Hata wangine watoto wao wanaenda na maji lakini hawataki kujua wanajiongeza mshahara kwa sababu ya kufanya nini hata wabunge kwanza hakuna kazi yenye wanafanya hiyo sio mzuri sio ni mzuri juu tuseme kama lecturers wanagoma na hao wengine tuseme kama madaktari waongezee pesa lakini hao wakienda juu wako na uwezo wanaenda kujiongezea pesa well, Kenyans definitely act by those uh, proposals uh, to increase uh, the pension for one-term members of parliament by 700%. So Duncan Otieno, an economist, is now joining us live by way of phone from Machakos to just help us understand what uh, we are staring at as a country if these proposals were to go through. Thank you very much, Mr. Otieno, for joining us here live on KTN News Desk. In essence, what does this mean for the taxpayer? Thank you so much for having me on, uh, online for this program. Mm -hmm. uh, first, first and foremost, it is important to put things into perspective. Uh, and and, and uh, we want, I, I would want to clarify that the members of parliament are unique, a unique cadre of our society. These are the people who have the capacity to uh, make their own budget, make their own pay, determine their own pay. And, 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 and uh, it, it must be remembered that about 296 parliamentarians lost their seat last year. And this is what uh, has, in, has necessitated this increase from 262 uh, million to uh, 1.7 billion uh, as, as, it, as it stands currently. And, 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 and uh, you, you realize that, first of all, it is wrong and uh, it is unacceptable for the members of parliament uh, to raise this because, uh, in light of the fact that uh, the clarion call from all the leadership has been taking the wage bill. This effect will ensure that our, our wage bills are already uh, uh, unmanageable uh, goes the rooftop. And, and, and again, I also need to point out that um, members of parliament, as it is currently, earn both gratuity and pension. 
mm-hmm. a situation that needs, no, ought not to be the case. Mm-hmm. And, and, and because you, you, you realize that when they are given a contract by the people of Kenya, they, yeah. are, they, are, they are entitled to a gratuity of 31 percent upon yes. the expiry of their term. So, so in the event these proposals sail through, what will we be staring at as a country? In the event that this, uh, the, the, this proposal goes through, and I do suspect it will because the parliamentarians are the ones who, who hold the knife and the arm, uh, what will happen is that we, uh, the, the, the Kenyan taxpayer will have to solder that excess, uh, ex- excess of one billion uh, plus that would have ordinarily would have been put into uh, some other alternative use for the benefit of Wanjiku. And that has to be borne by the Kenyan public as it is currently. And it has been spread over the medium term period of three years. We know currently that uh, Kenya is going for another euro bond in its billions. So we know that Kenya is in so much debt and we are broke as a country. So how will we be able to raise this amount of money to ensure that we keep our public servants comfortable if these proposals go through? Uh, thank you. Uh, it is important to, uh, to indicate that uh, the laws that we've made to govern ourselves, and in this case the Public Finance Management Act of 2012 and the Constitution, prohibit borrowing for current expenses. But uh, uh, in, in the recent past, our government has been doing exactly that, borrowing to pay salaries and borrowing to, to meet those recurrent uh, expenditures. So uh, I, w- I would not be surprised if uh, part of the uh, euro bond that we see currently, the third one, uh, is expended on, on paying salaries and, and, and ensuring that uh, the public servants are, are, are taken care of with respect to matters of remuneration, which ought not to be the case, because as it is, any borrowing as per our constitution should be used for development purposes and not for current purposes. So if the government is unable to mobilize enough revenue to take care of its own domestic uh, challenges, we would not be surprised if we go to the uh, lending market and borrow funds, and part of which will, all, will go for infrastructural development, but I, I do suspect that uh, a good portion will go towards meeting the uh, personal monument. So in a nutshell, are we treading on a dangerous path economically? Uh, yes and no. In the sense that uh, if, if, if we continue in this path, then we are, we are trading on dangerous path. Uh, path. But if this can be, can, can be uh, uh, mitigated before it, it, uh, it, it takes effect, then we, we will still have a chance to redeem ourselves economically. All right. Thank you very much for speaking to us here on KTN News. Just Duncan Otieno is an economist joining us live by way of phone uh, from Machakos, just spelling out what we'll be staring at as a country if indeed uh, this percentage uh, increment, uh, 700 percentage increment uh, in uh, MPs, PACs and one term member of members of parliament will sail through. I want us to take a quick break. Uh, remember, we are still uh, very big on the polio story and the campaign that is being spearheaded here in the county of Nairobi and the ODM members are still in a retreat in Naivasha. They're expected to address the media any minute from now. Once they do, we'll be going there live. So stick with us. Don't go too far.